What is up Titans, welcome back to a brand new Titans video and this one is on season 3 because there's been a few rumours floating around the air that you may or may not have heard about which make the next season sound very, very exciting and if these rumours are in fact true and to be honest, all of these make a lot of sense so I really wouldn't be surprised if we see these characters introduced next season. So of course in today's video I'm going to go over the recent news and then talk about how I feel these characters can be factored into the following season which should finally see the Titans under Nightwing's leadership finally, finally being the key word there, conducting themselves as a superhero crime fighting force we've all waited a couple of seasons for. And also by the way quickly before we dive into the news just in case you weren't aware or aren't aware or whatever, Titan season 2 is now on Netflix internationally so if you haven't actually seen every episode properly or just want to rewatch it again until season three has, go straight to Netflix and season two should be there for you to catch up on. So recently, multiple outlets have been reporting that three new characters will be coming to Titan season three. And who are those you may be asking? Well, one being Roy Harper, number two being Oracle, and number three, Lex Luthor, in which DC Universe is supposedly in the midst of casting Lex. Now, as I always say though when making update videos like this for a series none of this has been confirmed for sure like 100% by DC Universe themselves so take it with a grain of salt however I do feel like this is quite believable and it's not like things like this haven't been discovered before in the past and been accurate before DC themselves would only then announce it months later. So anyway let's first start with the ones that I'm not really surprised about that firstly being Lex Luthor. Now if you've watched my Titans video videos for a while now, you'll know that I've always speculated that we should see Lex debut at some point, and I'm not saying that I'm a genius for figuring that out at all, it's just that it makes sense. I mean, with the introduction of Superboy in Titan Season 2, of course, you know, there was some connective material to Lex Luthor, as of course, you know, Superboy is cloned from him and Superman. And we got to see these connections to Lex from seeing Lionel Luthor himself, when Superboy went to visit where Lex grew up, where we saw family photos and even memory flashbacks that Connor experienced when in his home. Other than that, we got more Lex through his proxy, Mercy Graves, and at best, the closest we got to Lex Luthor was him being on the phone to Mercy Graves in various scenes throughout the season. Now, approaching the end of season two, it became quite clear that we wouldn't get any more Lex than that, not even in a way that I was kind of hoping for and how they approached a shadowy figure of Bruce Wayne in season one, but I did think that in season 3 we could very well get him. But as we all know, in season 3 of Titans, the main antagonist is Starfire's sister, Blackfire. But I'll echo what I've said before when speculating about seeing Lex in the future of Titans, that this doesn't mean that we won't get a somewhat joint season, mirroring what we had in season 2 with Deathstroke and then Cadmus, and maybe even another smaller role or two popping up like Dr. Light did. So bottom line, I do believe that Blackfire will probably be the main focus of the following season in how Deathstroke was, but since we have Superboy now, the continuation of Cadmus will likely be explored after the somewhat failure of Mercy Graves, as I can't imagine Lex would take too kindly to this, to the point of where maybe it's something like, you know, he's thinking, if you want something done, do it yourself. Even though we've had Connor Kent for a majority of season two, there's still so much story there for him that won't just exactly pause. I mean, he hasn't even met Superman either. Even though we have had lines from Dick Grayson saying something like he'll probably want to meet him with help from Bruce, which we actually never got to see happen. And even though now we're apparently meant to be getting Lex, I'm not sure if we'll get that with Superman next season, even though from a story perspective, there's no real reason as to why Superman wouldn't meet a clone of himself that Batman is aware of, so you'd think that he'd know about it. I mean, I just hope that they don't just chuck a line in there early next season saying that Connor did have a conversation with Clark in between seasons. But anyway, Superman isn't really what this video is about. But bottom line, as for Lex, if his character is being cast for next season, he will probably be scheming and reaching out to Connor Kent in one way or another. But as for Roy Harper, well, this has been one fans have been expecting for quite some time, maybe even alongside Wally West. However, out of the two, 
I've always said in my videos that we'll probably just see Roy for the time being as it's a much easier route to go and well with this recent news it could actually be a thing that might happen. Now Roy Harper could be a nice addition to the Titans next season and they've actually already set up a segue into the show that Roy could come in on being that they've already had him appear in one form in season 2. Okay, it, it was just a name on the phone, but still. If you guys remember when Starfire and Donna Troy were taking down Shimmer, the intel that got them a lead on Shimmer's whereabouts was all thanks to Roy Harper, which means in this DC universe, Donna Troy already knows him, obviously pretty well, and it's very likely Dick Grayson training under Batman as a child and seeing members of the Justice League coming around all the time throughout the years likely met Roy as well when the Green Arrow came around to chill with Superman and Diana in the Batcave. However though, as for the history of the Titans team, we know that episode 4 of season 2 was described as the original team which was formed 4 years years ago with Aqualad who in that episode at his birthday party was with the Titans for four months at that point. So this means that any other members such as Roy, Harper or maybe even Wally being a thing in the past on the Titans team is unlikely unless they want to retcon this in season 3 somehow. So I'm guessing that Dick and Donna and perhaps the others such as Hank and Dawn know Roy Harper through just some mutual superhero and sidekick dealings. So if Roy joins the Titans next season it could very well be for the first time and I bet he would have heard of it before as well and now that they're they really are finally a team again for the second time in four years. Hopefully we'll see them thriving as a superhero team and that will be what tempts him to join. Now as for why he'd take a break from Oliver Queen is still up for debate though as it's clear that he's already a vigilante himself having known the others but with Blackfire and likely Cadmus and who knows what else next season the Titans could use Roy's help just as they've got his help before. And then lastly guys of course we have have Barbara Gordon aka Oracle, a character which I actually didn't expect. Now Lex and Roy I've already spoke about the sense it kind of made to what we've been given before with them in the show but Oracle is an interesting one that just turned up recently. Now Discussing Film has labelled Barbara Gordon as a major recurring role in season 3. Apparently this interpretation of the character will indeed see her as Oracle when she was paralysed following the Joker's actions in The Killing Joke. They've also heard that she will actually be the commissioner of the GCPD following the passing of her late father James Gordon. So this is very very interesting to hear and uh, rip Jimbo in the DC universe if all of this turns out to be true. Uh, I don't know some of you I can imagine will say this makes sense with how old Ian Glenn looks but, but whatever to that. But anyway I think Oracle could be used in many ways in season 3 for one being who she is. Oracle is a very very resourceful character and with the Titans hopefully being that superhero force I keep mentioning, she could be very handy with assisting the Titans next season with their problems. However though, apparently she's going to be commissioner of the GCPD, which you know you would only assume would place her in Gotham. But it's not like we can't still have scenes of her, perhaps she would be played in a similar way to how Ian Glenn's recurring role of Bruce Wayne was weaved throughout season 2, to appear every now and again as a helping hand or to help kind of usher characters along in a certain episode that may require her input. Another interesting way you could of course play this in the show is that of course Dick Grayson would know about the former Batgirl and may have even had a relationship with her before so it's just really interesting to think about the ways DC Universe could bring Oracle to fruition in Titan Season 3. Now for me personally if all of this is true I would just love to see some flashbacks to the Batcave days with Dick Grayson and Batgirl or just you know Barbara Gordon in general before the events of the killing joke which could offer more world building into the Bat family as like we've seen before in Titans such as when we first met Donna Troy when Wonder Woman came round uh, to speak to Bruce about this horrible thing the Joker had done and I believe that was season one. I just think we would all love some more cool references like that and, and there's just a lot of 
of opportunity that they could play with here. But that is the main gist of this video, guys. That is all the news. So what I would love to hear from you down in the comments below, on, on top of maybe expanding upon what I've said with my ideas, is to, you know, label your ideas uh, with how you think these characters could be involved. Obviously, Lex would be there for Superboy, but what way do you think he could draw Superboy in next season? With Barbara Gordon, how would she factor into season three? Could it be a previous relationship with Dick Grayson? Could she just be assisting with Blackfire as well as being the commissioner of the GCPD? And then of course Roy Harper, well of course having known a couple of the heroes already such as Donna Troy and Dick Grayson and maybe even others, he could just be joining the team to help out with the problems as well and maybe even after the death or you know air quotes death of Donna Troy with her after all being the one that he contacted with intel about Shimmer, maybe that's what brings him to the Titans Tower in the first place and after that he comes and it just sticks around for a little bit and then becomes a titan i don't know there's a billion different avenues this could go down but that is the video guys so like it if you did enjoy make sure you subscribed for all kinds of titan season 3 updates and just dc universe in general and all kinds of other things on this channel uh, you can check out my past couple of videos appearing on the screen if you would like to follow me a bit more outside youtube there are a few links down in the description such as my twitter which is my most active social media i have a discord server of course and also if you want to support the channel a bit further i do have a patreon but thank you so much for watching everyone i hope you have a lovely rest of your day and i'll see you titans in the next video goodbye